Hey everyone and welcome to my channel. In this video, I want to go over tracking your finances in Excel. Earlier this year, I put out a video about my simple piece of paper method for budgeting. And I used that method when I was paying off debt. And I'm going to add to that because in this video, I'm going to show you that I also tracked my actual spending in Excel. So you can use Excel to track how much money you've spent in different categories, how much income you've had, how much debt you have, and then also you can use it for budgets as well. So I'm going to show you all of that in this video. And the reason I like Excel is because you can put so much information all on one page in one view, and it's easier to track your progress when you get to see things over a period of time. So this would be an example of what a spreadsheet I used to use might look like. I would have a section for my income and a section for my expenses. And I had totals, total for income and a total for expenses, and then a section for the difference. So I could see if I was in the positive or negative for the month. And the reason I like to use Excel again, also in addition to being able to see a lot of information all on one page is because Excel has formulas like I'm using here and it's just easier for me. I'm used to it. I'm quick with it and it wasn't that difficult to learn this. So for example, for wages, if I get more than one paycheck in a month, I might put a formula in here to add those numbers together. For example, if one paycheck was $1,600 and one paycheck was $1,500, I would be able to just add those up and Excel would do the math for me, as you can see here. Or for a category like groceries, household, I might add up several numbers because I might go to the grocery store five or six or seven or eight times in a given month. So I would be able to add up the numbers as I go. And then some categories, I would just be putting in one number. I'm going to put this on my website so that you can download it and use it for yourself. And you'll be able to edit whatever categories you want to edit or add categories. To add a line, you would just right click and click on insert. To delete a line, you would just right click and do delete. And you can, of course, change names as you want. Also, another thing I want to point out is I like to name my credit cards. So if I have a Chase card, I might put that here. If I have a Capital One card, I might put that here. If I have a department store credit card, I might write that out here as well, just so I can be as specific as possible. So like I said, when I used this method, this was my actual spending and my piece of paper was my budget. You could instead use this as just your budget if you wanted to. There are so many different things you could do with this. If you notice, I have these lines here, these splits. So when I scroll down, I can still see the months across the top. When I scroll left to right, I can still see my menu over on the left. And that's just so I can fit more data into one screen, but still see my main menus. And you can take these out by just going to view, split, and when you click on that, it's gonna unhighlight it. It's gonna remove that highlight and it will remove the lines. Or you can just drag the lines from here off the screen or off the boxes and it will remove it that way also. I also want to add that if you go down here and click on this little arrow, I have more than one tab on this spreadsheet. There's three little dots here that will allow you to go to another tab. So I have the financial tracker, which is the main spreadsheet. And then this is my debt list. This is similar to what I was doing when I was in debt. I was putting in, I put in my start amounts. And I'm just going to throw in some numbers here just so you have an idea of what this might look like. So 
So you could have your starting debts. And then what I used to do at the end of the month is I would put in my current balances at that point on that day. And it would show me my current total debt. And I would be able to compare that to my beginning total debt. And then I also have this formula set up here to show me the difference. So this really helped to motivate me when I was paying off debt because paying off debt can be a very slow process and you have to be really patient to because you're paying off small amounts month by month most of the time. So this really helped me stay motivated to basically see my start amounts versus my current amounts. And then I could just go back to my financial tracker and go from there. So I dug up this old spreadsheet from several years ago. This is maybe 2008, 2009, somewhere in that time frame. I did change some of the data so it wouldn't be as personal, but it still hopefully gives you an idea of what a completed spreadsheet might look like, what some categories might look like. These are the categories I used. You can see that I did get a little detailed on some of mine. Like for example, I have a separate line item for video games, separate line item for Christmas, birthdays, pets. So hopefully this kind of gives you an idea of what it might look like for you. You can use whatever categories you prefer. And basically I would just come in this spreadsheet maybe once or twice a week and update it. So it looks like a lot because there's so many numbers in here, but this is several months worth of work. When you're doing this once or twice a week, even once a week, you're not gonna have nearly as much data to put in at any one given time. And I would just add in, like for example, groceries, household miscellaneous, I would just add in any amounts that I've spent maybe that week. And I did weirdly have a blank month with nothing in it. And I think I was just really busy that month. I'm not 100% sure. But hopefully this gives you an idea, like I said, of what a completed spreadsheet might look like for you. And then I also wanna show you another option. I'm gonna leave this option and the other one I showed you at the beginning of the video on my website so that you can download these and use them for yourself. So this one is one where if you didn't wanna deal with a piece of paper and have a budget in a separate place, you could put it all in your Excel spreadsheet. So you could have a column for your budget, a column for your actual, and then this has a column for the difference. So if you like this format better, you could use this. I have this tab set up for September for the current month, but you could copy this every month for the new month. So then October could be next and so on. Or if you don't want a new tab for every single month, you could just copy it here, right click, copy, and then maybe leave some space and put in a new month. So this could be September, this could be October, and so on. So you can play with it, do what works for you, what makes sense to you, and see what you like the best. The best thing you can do for your finances is do what works for you. Everybody's going to be different. Everyone's going to have different preferences and that's, and there's nothing wrong with that. Before we end the video, I want to also show you what you could do in Google Sheets. So this is just a blank account that I haven't really used yet. And in Google, I'm in Google Drive. Setting up a Gmail is free, and the little icons are over here to go to Drive. And then to create the budget spreadsheet, you would just go to New, Google Sheets, and this would create a brand new spreadsheet. You could change the name of it, and then you would have to enter your data in here and put in your formulas. Or if you don't wanna do that, you could just download one of my Excel budgets or financial trackers, and you would just drag it into Drive. And what this is gonna do is bring in all the information that I had in the spreadsheets. You've got two tabs here. You've got the 
tracker, expenses, income, everything's here already done for you. So either way would work. So I hope this video helps. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below and thank you for watching.